produce our own energy. I mean, it's a live more simply so that we need less, but can we live without electricity, or how do we begin making that shift to be more sustainable when we are producing our own, but is that participating in an unjust economic structure? Like, where we get solar panels, and, and then the upstart costs for that are so high. So I have big questions as to where is our energy coming from, and what is the Catholic worker way to look at how we use electricity or produce electricity and simplicity. I don't know if folks are struggling with that or have any ideas. I want to finish up the farmer's market conversation. Because <laughs> uh, like I, I know when, when we were talking about that earlier, we're often talking about farmers themselves. But, and I don't know how it is in other cities, but in Milwaukee, it, it might be partially because of the large monk population that for most of them, their way of, their way of life before they came to the United States was farming. Uh, so when you go to the farmer's market in Milwaukee, it's not usually, you know, your normal farmers, it's people that either there's a plot of land that they share that is run by the university extension and they have their plots and they have plots and the people have plots in their backyard. And this is a way to you know subsidize their own income uh, so that they can, you know, grow food for themselves but also be able to uh, sell some of it so that they can pay their electricity, pay their rent, pay their bills and survive. And so in that sense to me that really is a skill that um, people in the central city in Milwaukee are using that really creates a m more independence or interdependence uh, instead of needing to rely just on the person in the family that might be working at the plant where they just put in the screw all day and they don't really have a skill. This is utilizing that skill for some self-sufficiency, which I think, you know, just with all the poverty we see in the many houses of hospitality we're involved with, if there was more, that's a skill that if people could learn, I mean, everyone needs to buy food, and for the most part, my experience is farmer market food, it's fresher, it lasts longer, it's often cheaper, and, uh, and it could help sustain the central city itself instead of bringing in food from who knows where, but I think we talked about that before. So, so I, mean, I see it very, farmer's markets, at least, in a place like Milwaukee, is very positive and supportive of uh, the community. Well, the worst thing that's happened in our, our market is that um, the state of Illinois is broke, so they're making all of the people who come to the market to sell produce have uh, a tax thing, in which means a lot of the people won't do it, and so we don't have the market like we used to have. It's really sad. <laughs> Yeah, I'm